Sending my best wishes to our Somali brothers and sisters on the beginning of holy month of Ramadan. May all our prayers for peace be accepted by Allah. I would like to express my sincere gratitude to the federal government of Somalia for accepting my request to conduct a, an official visit and I would also like to commend the government for its excellent cooperation and efforts to ensure a fruitful visit. I would also like to take this opportunity to express my appreciation to the United Nations Assistance Mission in Somalia and the African Union Mission in Somalia, as well as the Office of the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights in Geneva for their considerable efforts in organizing this visit. As you know, this is my first visit to the Federal Republic of Somalia in my capacity as independent expert on the situation of human rights in Somalia. I was mandated by the UN Human Rights Council to assess, monitor, and report on the situation of human rights in Somalia with a view to making recommendations on technical assistance and capacity building in the field of human rights. I was appointed to this mandate by the United Nations Human Rights Council on the 8th of May 2020, but was unable to travel due to the COVID-19 pandemic and related travel restrictions. in light of this and the ongoing electoral process, I choose to focus my first visit on economic, social, and cultural rights as they relate to the benchmarks and indicators of my second report to the United Nations Human Rights Council. During the course of my mission, I met with the Federal Minister of Women and Human Rights Development and the Federal Minister of Justice. I also held meetings with representatives of UNSOM, AMISOM, UN agencies, humanitarian organizations, and civil society. I also had the opportunity to visit Baidoa, where I met with the President of Southwestern State, his presidential advisors, and the director of the presidency, the State Minister of Women and Human Rights Development, and the Minister of the Environment, as well as a wide range of civil society actors. 
I would like to thank everyone who took the time to meet and share with me the most pressing human rights issues and for the warm welcome extended to me. That badan or kater sandat ka wu alo leya kawo bul insan ka iyo bul shada bayika. Wahan jalan ha ina daman to tu rumah leyo waktu go lokali ga iyo huran iyo sidi di rane de iyo so do in magada baydawa. Ladies and gentlemen, today I will confine myself to some preliminary observations and recommendations on some of the main issues which will be elaborated in a comprehensive report to the United Nations Human Rights Council at its 51st session in September 2022 in Geneva and to the United Nations General Assembly at its 77th session in New York. <laughs> ولكنني <تصفيق> Somalia continues to suffer from insecurity, conflict, and recurring droughts due to climate change, leading to additionally internally displaced people or IDPs and severe food and water shortages. Somalia, to this end, the federal government and humanitarian partners are implementing the emergency response and preparedness plan of 2021 and pre-positioning food items, water, and non-food items to support the, in the IDP populations in Baidoa and other areas in the country. Access to health care remains dangerously low in the country. There is only one government hospital in the capital, Mogadishu, and people often have to seek health care services at private health facilities and pay out of their own pocket very high amounts for their treatment. As a result, only a few people can afford these services, thereby leading to high child and maternal mortality. Therefore, I urge the government to extend the delivery of public health services delivery in the light of the lessons learned from the COVID-19 pandemic and increase funding for its health systems.
وحنسا الدولة الصومالية وبا بينا إني بلاري سعدي جل عقما كسي بالشباب أن أي أول جاتو أن نجو كل ما ينا عشرة دي أن كبرني مركي ودعي عذر في سفر كها الكوفيد 19 وأنا إني تقلب أن كل بحسا أدي عقما other concerns relate to high rates of youth unemployment and early and forced marriages, which contributes to an extraordinary high population growth and results in negative health consequences. I call on the government to advance efforts to eliminate child early and forced marriages and to protect the rights of the girls in vulnerable positions. <laughs> شکل آن بحث نکند تو وطن که یه ویلا گور که قصد که هم انتاس عیسا و عیسا این بنشده ای حالا عثمان و آن و نکسرین ای کسی به هم و هم دولت سومالیا او با قیام مرکله این ای دلایل دیگر در کل دستور سیل لاس و افجار لعه گور که عیال کل گوسای أمام جور كقصر كا أقدر نهاره إلى سو قصفيا. ساس وحيك تجان تاي إن قف كا مجبر ده هو قدر ده نعدنيمو لا إيجابية ومشهد قيبة لك الجمن تاي الأوجاس. In addition, the treatment and conditions of detentions in Somali prisons fall well below international standards. Prisons are severely overcrowded and incarcerated adults and minors are not always separated. More so, capital punishment is a legal penalty and a moratorium on its use is not in place. I urge the government to put a halt on all executions and to introduce a moratorium on the death penalty as a first step towards abolition. داد کل وحی رو حفظی داد، ایتای کو آد ویانی. سر درد نه این تبلن، آن لکل ساری داد کل وی یوگل با عروت. دمان تو حل مل وضع حالی. سر کاره، اقدار تدیل که یوگل با وحیابها اولیک ما دمان تو تیگان. ولي وكيلنا الصومالي، سيدي وكالة دولة الصومالي وحن كون باقينا إن أي سي يا ريسو رماهاس أينا كانتو سيارة كالة قدرتا لو عقاب أو لو مرسيو مدركوري. Despite the enormity of these challenges, the government has strengthened its normative and institutional frameworks, particularly in the federal member states, to address the promotion and protection of human rights, including in the area of rule of law and administration of justice. I have been briefed about the alternative dispute resolution centers established to handle small case civil cases, including family issues, land and property rights, with a view to addressing the gaps in the justice sector and improving citizens' access to justice. The alternative dispute resolution model, funded by international partners, complements the judicial process and is credited with resolving large numbers of cases by applying Islamic, customary, and statutory laws. <laughs> تاسو که هم گلاب اما لگیو کیسس کیاریاب ارمه یاریاب اعدادش و باهن سیدا ارمه عادیگاه این عقاب تا حسین مدنی که لوگو عادی کیسی مدنی که برای تاسو حس که کاشدهای و حس که کاشدهای این تا سعی بده عالی جای سومالیا 
Women's political participation is a fundamental prerequisite for gender equality and genuine democracy. However, from the discussions, I was informed that the 30% minimum quota for women's representation during the ongoing election is not being met, suggesting that more work needs to be done now towards the next election. I call on the federal government of Somalia to ensure that the quota for women's participation in the remaining seats that are up for elections is respected. I also urge the government to ensure diversity and inclusion, which focuses on equal treatment and equal opportunity for marginalized and minority groups. Uh, تاسو هاي الكبيرات هاي الديمقراطية هاي كعورتة سوماليا. سيدو كله وده هذا الذي أملا يشيء ذات كي كله بناء أملا كل مي حلقه ورجلي إن صوت مبغض كيبا قاندا ده وين كا أي ولي واحد كده مين هين وسيد الله كله أملا أمسيرة وحال إذا وحال تاي هنسوي جدنا هنا إن شاء الله بدنا نلاقي قطة برنامج كاس. سيدي قبلها السيد المستر وقف هاي الكلام دولة الصومال ينوع عن أوبا بيا إني صدم بقول في بعض أصحاب الجسر أو الجيار سوى كلام عن دولة الصومال ينوع عن أوبا بيا إن كتير قال دك كلنا يبدو مهين أو يكمل يمين دك كله هاي بسرعة أما دك كا لقى تلات بنيه هاي أو دان إن لقى شقة يوسف حقوق ده أفضل بمواطنة أي أسرة في شهر كاس. The right to freedom of expression and opinion is essential to any functioning democracy. However, there are concerns about the arbitrary arrest and detention of journalists by security personnel across the country. I wish to reiterate my, the importance of respecting the right to freedom of expression and opinion. I recommend that laws and policies whose ambiguity have been used to criminalize journalists for their legitimate work are revised with a view to bringing their content and execution in compliance with the principle of legality and other international human rights standards. حريتانكي صحفيين أما حبس الدين في صحفيين تقعد كل أي قصة مليان ذاتك الدوان أما إلا من فكر سن إذا مضى صوماليا مالك الصوت الكامل ده أي نكد على أرتاس ما كلكوا علينا إلا احترام كهوضة قفك إلنا تكوية هاي إنو حضلو وفكر كي سجيل سبب لغنا احترامه فكر كي سن حسنا قرأ وعن سوء جدنا هنا إلا احترامه شرعية ده سياسة ده يندام ككجرة سوماليا أو أن دم اللقاء دقين شقادة صحافة ده صحافة ده أنا إيكو شقيصة الشرعية انتا سوالم وحيكا دقين تهاي أيضا لوح القنسمي شرعية يوبيلي با I am encouraged by the launch of the legal unit in cooperation with the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization to provide legal protection for journalists. The program focuses on ensuring lawyers are equipped with the tools needed to promote fundamental rights related to media freedom based on international and regional legal standards. وعلى هذا هو فرحينا مطلوب إلا أساسي عدد كتير سنة 
parameter in the record to the uh, UNESCO, Ukadinsan, uh, Ukadinsan, Ukadinsan, in Lassio, Kalmo, Shariade, Sahafi, the Kalduan, Ekahodara, Wadaka. The Ramukas, I can't even type in a Sahafi, the Ehikara, Loyado, the Kara, or Sido Karana, Lassio, Yavi Agafiaha. I urge the international community not to relent in its support at this last stage when stability is increasingly becoming a reality in Somalia. I call on the international community to continue its assistance to Somalia towards strengthening the federal and state institutions, in particular the security and justice institutions, as well as the health systems, and addressing the adverse impact of climate change on the full and effective enjoyment of human rights by ensuring access to basic social services, including drinking water, sanitation facilities, housing, health care, education for all children, in particular the girl child. I thank you for your attention. <laughs> Hadal,